Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Hey you guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a sophomore at Notre Dame and I'm gonna give you guys a dorm tour. I live in a two room double and I have a roommate but the way that we decided to set up our room is I get one room and she gets another room. So it's essentially like a single that's connected which is really cool. And I think it's great. I have basically my own space which is super nice. But then if I'm ever lonely I can just be like, hey girl, what's up? So I'm really excited. I love the way my dorm is decorated this year. I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> also, because I did move in early, I had a lot of time to organize all my stuff, so I'm gonna show you everything in my drawers and stuff. I didn't do that last time, just because I forgot, but today I'm gonna do it, just because it's actually pretty organized, and this is probably the best it'll ever look, which is exactly what my parents said, and they're right, so yeah. So, starting at the front of my room, I have these two sets of hooks and I just put a lot of like my bags, my tote bags. This is my laundry bag and it's a backpack laundry bag, which is gonna be so helpful. Last year, my laundry bag, I literally just had to drag it on the floor. And then I have this coat rack right here. I put my backpack and then I put this little mirror because originally this mirror was hung up here but it actually ended up falling down, so that kind of sucks. Right now, this is just what my coat rack looks like, but I'm sure as it gets like closer to the winter months, like it'll actually be a little bit more useful. Then if we move to this side of the room, I just have this storage bin full of a lot of my snacks on top of my fridge. And then I have two trash cans because my room actually came with this trash can, which last year my room didn't come with the trash can, so I don't know why that's there, but this is originally what my trash can was going to be, and it's nice because this trash can's bigger, but which is why I've kept it in the room. The only problem is that it's like open, so everyone's going to see the trash, which I don't really care about, but my parents were like, no, like you don't want your trash to be open. Then, as you can see, on the back of my wardrobe, I have this really, really cute photo wall that I'm obsessed with. And then I just have a little schedule of mine for my classes. Honestly, the schedule is just going to be helpful for like the first few weeks, just so I know what time I have to go to class every day, just so I don't have to keep checking my phone. I can literally just go over here and look at it. And then right next to my fridge, I have my wardrobe, and there's obviously a lot of pink and all the clothes that I have. On top of my wardrobe, I really just have, this is my finance textbook. This is a toolbox, which is so random, but my mom's friend actually gave it to me as a grad gift from graduating high school and it has been so helpful then I have a mini vacuum which if you know me I do not clean very much at all but it has been helpful then I just have like a leftover tissue box and then in this storage box I have just a ton of random stuff like I have pepper spray a little jewelry case I have a brush holder. I just have my brushes in a makeup case, so I haven't used this. Then I have my old Notre Dame pencil case, which I'm probably going to use for something. It's just so cute. Then I have a ton of random stuff, like I have a film camera, some card games, and then I also have these card holders to put on the back of your phone, which I have one of the pink ones on my phone, and it has been so helpful. Instead of carrying around a keychain or like a wristlet with my student ID to get into my dorm, I just put it on the back of my phone, and I mean, you always have your phone, so I never forget it which last year i literally would have to text like five people in my dorm and be like can you please let me in because i forgot my id again so getting a closer look at my wardrobe up here i just have this purple cowboy hat that i got from urban outfitters then i have my three cube storage organizer which the bottom one is empty but these top two mainly just have going out clothes these are like more corset type of uh going out shirts and then these are more like baby doll t-shirts or not baby doll baby tees which I love baby tees and then I just have my clothes hung up and I only use felt hangers because they're thinner and as you can see I still have leftover hangers that I have not used so basically I have an excuse to buy more clothes so then going further down my wardrobe we just have a ton of shoes and then in this first drawer I just have my underwear and then some socks and then in this drawer I just have oh in this drawer, I just have a ton of t-shirts, which I could honestly put some of these t-shirts back there just so it's easier to close, but 
yeah and then in the very bottom of this drawer i just have a ton of random stuff a big fluffy blanket i always sleep with this every single night but it didn't like quite match the vibe for this video so i just put it in here for right now and then i have a more fancy dress and then i just have like hats and just like random stuff so that is what my little wardrobe looks like moving on to my desk okay so on my desk i obviously have my laptop here then I have my makeup mirror, which if I'm going to be honest, I don't really do my makeup at my desk. I usually do it near my sink, but but I bought this last year and obviously I'm not going to get rid of it. So maybe sometimes I'll do my makeup at my desk. Then this thing is so helpful. It is basically like an outlet stand. I don't know like the official term. I'll put a link to it in the description, but... I got it from Amazon and it is amazing. It has so many outlets, like USB outlets, regular outlets, and it is so helpful just to charge everything here. It doesn't look that pretty, but it's very functional. Then I just have a lamp, obviously. That's pretty self-explanatory. Then let me give you a close-up of the other stuff that I have at my desk. So obviously at the corner of my desk, I have this little magazine holder, which is what I'm gonna put all of my like notebooks for class in so I can just grab it. But for right now, it just has my iPad and like a little notepad and then this is going to be the pencil case that I'm going to use which right now it just has like a bunch of random stuff in it so I haven't like fully organized it. Let me move my Starbucks cup which just has water in it this time you guys not actual Starbucks. So hopefully with this light you can see it a little better but I got this during study abroad it is the cutest thing ever it just says Irish blessing on it. Then I have a little pencil cup which I haven't put a lot of my stationery in yet and then I have a three hole puncher which if you have classes with readings I have found this very helpful and then I have a staple which again if you have a class with readings this has also been very helpful if you have to print a lot of stuff out okay let me turn this off now okay now look at my photos at the back i think that they are literally the cutest thing ever i love putting photos everywhere i think it makes it like a lot more homey and like less depressing because dorms are very like bland so i think it's important to like add your touch to it because otherwise it kind of gets a little depressing and at the top of my desk i have this little organizer with my contacts and then this little drawer just has some of my makeup because I knew that I was about to like run out of it so I bought extras so I wouldn't have to order it. And I mean I could order stuff to my dorm. The only problem is is I'm so forgetful and I'm someone to wear like oh I see something running out. I'll be like oh I'll order it but then I'll forget to order it and then I've ran out of it and then it's just like annoying. So that's why when I see that I'm running low I just go ahead and grab it especially since it was over the summer. It was like so much easier for me to just drive and get it because here I don't have a car. Then over here I have some cute little face decals and I wear them for football games and then I have these two cute little things. This is from Dubai. It's my favorite thing ever. I have family in Dubai so whenever we visit I just get cute little knickknacks like that. I visited London during study abroad and I got this cute little telephone figurine and it's it's adorable. It makes me so happy to look at. Then I don't know if you can see back there that Lululemon makeup case has my makeup brushes. In here I have my glasses this little all for coffee Starbucks thing my mom actually got me so my family and I wanted to go to the five level Starbucks in Chicago so our plan was on Wednesday I was moving in so we were gonna move in everything and then on Thursday we were gonna go but it turns out on Thursday I just had to run a ton of errands to buy stuff for my room and it took really long to set my room up like literally so long I was so tired I was like dying every single day and I also had to edit my dorm move-in vlog which was like a big priority for me because that video was 30 minutes long it took forever to edit and then on friday i had to help move in the first years and then my parents were move were leaving saturday morning they left yesterday i said bye to them which was so sad but so my parents went on friday whenever i was helping the first years move into my dorm and my mom got that for me and it's so cute i love it we both share a love for starbucks if you watch my movement vlog you know that but yeah then i have these two cute little ornaments which this one is a little angel and she's kind of broken her wings fell off which is sad and then i love this ornament it's a little mini ornament of my dog and i think it's it's the cutest thing ever then here I just have a ton of hair ties in this little organizer and this I bought this prayer card at the bookstore here actually and it's so cute I got one for myself and two for my parents and they still carry it around which is so cute and then in here I have a ton of different hair stuff like uh, heat protectant um, 
some other random sprays that my mom actually buys for me. Just a ton of random like hair stuff in this little foldable storage, which both of these are from Target. And then here I have all my claw clips, which last year, oops, <laughs> last year I put all my claw clips in that little organizer, but I just have so many claw clips that it wouldn't fit anymore. And then this little thing that fell, they actually give us this at football games, which is so cute. I'm so obsessed with it and yeah, very cute. Then up here, we have this photo frame of my dog and oh my god, we love Sammy. She's the cutest thing ever. Then I got this cute little snow globe in Ireland whenever I was studying abroad. I keep saying when I study abroad, which is really annoying. And then I'm about to say when I studied abroad a lot more because I started a cute little shot glass um, collection, which is, oh my god, this one I got from London and then these two I got from Ireland and they're so cute. This one just says the luck of the Irish and then this one's funny. This one says Irish today, hungover tomorrow. And then this one is a cute little one that I got from London. So this is sort of hard to explain, but essentially at Notre Dame, you go to the grotto and the grotto is kind of hard to explain, but it's essentially where a lot of people go to pray. I have been there several times to pray. It's amazing. It's like, it just, it feeds your soul when you need it. And, um, Whenever you're a freshman, the first welcome weekend, you do a class trip to the grotto and they give you a candle and the hope is you'll come back to the grotto at some point in the year and pray. And whenever you pray, if you're not familiar, um, you would go and light a candle, which which I, I've been to the grotto, but I just haven't brought this candle. So I just still have it. I, I don't know. I think of it as like a keepsake. Um, and then whenever you have your new member ceremony for your dorm, I don't know if it's for all dorms but for my dorm we got a candle with our name on it which i don't know okay so it's focusing a little bit but it's sort of washed out but it just has my name the date of our new member ceremony like uh, being a new member of our dorm and then this is a candle that they also give you so yeah those are really cute i keep them up there good memories <laughs> That is one thing that's amazing about Notre Dame is Notre Dame has so many traditions and it's just so fun to like participate in them. Then I have this little basket, which I'm not gonna, oops, um, I dropped my little Irish dancer, but I'm not gonna bring that down, but it's also foldable storage and it just has a ton of school supplies in it. It's just pens and stuff that I have to open that I haven't yet, which I'll just do that literally the day before school. And then I have this cute little Irish dancer that I also got when I studied abroad and it's, it's so cute this is handmade and she broke a little um on the plane right here but that's okay and then next to my little irish dancer is this cute little figurine that i got for communion so it's crazy that i've had that figurine for so long but i just think it's the most beautiful thing ever and then this is just a little overview of what my desk looks like wait i forgot to show you what are in the drawers but in this drawer just a bunch of random stuff my parents actually wrote me a card before they left and they gave me a star Starbucks and Grubhub gift card, which was so nice of them, and a ton of different random stuff. Like, I have stuff to crochet, which hopefully eventually I will get to do that. Then in this first drawer, it just has a ton of my medications. In this drawer, I have, again, a ton of stationery. I have these cute notebooks that Pipier sent me and a planner they sent me, and then I have a ton of other notebooks and just some random school supplies. Then in this box, um... You know, just nothing much in that bottom drawer. My bad. Another thing I really love about my dorm is my view. I have a view of the quad, so I can do a lot of people watching, and there are some people walking right now. But, yeah, very beautiful. And then we have to talk about these this freaking wall it's so gross the paint is chipping again it's a really old dorm and then this is the radiator and it just sticks out which is kind of annoying but what can you do about it at least i have this really cute view and then my favorite part of my dorm is my cute little neon sign of course it's pink as you can tell the theme for my room was literally all pink and then i have my same bedspread or my duvet cover from last year which is just like a cute little white pattern and then i have this cute little pink uh blanket which i also have from last year and then again a pillow from last year then i got this cute pillow from target it was on sale we love sales husband pillow which i freaking love husband pillows i have so many like back issues and this just helps so much and then two pillows and then oh my gosh i love this photo wall i was thinking about adding more photos to it but 
honestly I think it really separates the wall really nicely like with my cute little three photos and then my cute little photo wall I think if I added too many photos it would just be like it would just look a little too cluttered so I think I really like the way that it looks this is what it looks like from afar like when you're looking right into the room and I love it it's so cute so moving on from my bed I of course have a fan which is a necessity my dorm does not have air conditioning so until it comes to winter time this fan is so freaking helpful especially since I like it cold in my room but here I just have a ton of different like clothes just like Lululemon and then I have a ton of different like plastic forks plastic plates a ton of random stuff bag clips and then in this bottom drawer I have um, a pot for cooking some salt and then um, a little container because I actually started to cook last year because I hate the food in the dining hall and I am just I'm not excited to go back to the dining hall hopefully the food has improved but yeah, not excited. And then look how cute this little heart plate that I have is. As you can tell, I love my knickknacks. So on the top of my dresser, I just have this cute little book I got from Urban Outfitters. Have I read it? No. Am I going to read it? Probably not. But it just looks so cute. A Paris style book. Then of course, when I was studying abroad, I got this really cute look of the Irish figurine. Then I have this really cute angel wing thing, which I have no idea where I got this from. But it is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but, but it like sparkles. It's so beautiful. Then I have this cute little bottle opener in a little boot and it's pink and I thought it was so cute especially since I'm from Texas but then I have my little hairbrush holder I have this is a jewelry box which it has my earrings and my rings and then theoretically I'd put some of my rings in here but for right now since school hasn't started I haven't started putting my rings in there then I have a ton of my necklaces which it's so nice to hang my necklaces up because last year I also had that jewelry case but my necklaces will get like kind of tangled so love this cute little jewelry holder i just love the way that this looks and then i got a keurig which i have a ton of like different coffee stuff and then back here i just have a ton of vitamins my mom gave me but theoretically i bought a keurig so i would stop going to starbucks so much i don't know how realistic it is that i will stop going to starbucks as starbucks as often as i have been and of course i got it in this cute little light pink color and i'm so obsessed with her she's just so beautiful and i love the way this dresser looks you guys i just think like whenever you look at it from afar it is just so pretty I love it. I love it. And as you can tell, I am not a minimalist, really. I just, I love my knickknacks. It makes it feel so much more homey. Then we'll go into my first dresser drawer, which has a ton of different bras and tanks and camis. And then in my second drawer, I have shorts. My, what is this called? Oh my, what is the name? Oh, skirts, which these are literally just like, I honestly don't wear skirts that often but that's something i'm trying to change and then i have a ton of my leggings in here and then in this third drawer i have sweatpants and then jeans and then in my bottom drawer i literally just have towels and it's still empty in there so as you can tell there are still like spaces in my room that i still have for storage which is crazy that it's not completely full. Honestly, like I knew that I would still have room, which is why I could have brought more clothes, but my parents were on my case. They were like, you're not gonna be able to fit everything, but guess what, I did take that anyways and then we have my little sink area which this mat is just a joke i got it from urban outfitters i think it's really cute then i just have a ton of extra photos that i put there maybe i'll add more photos or maybe not i kind of like the look of it and then obviously i have my makeup case because i always just do my makeup in front of this mirror so it just makes more sense to leave it here and then obviously some hand soap and then a kleenex box and then we have my little styling station which i got it from target I'll link it down below if you're curious but so helpful just to put that up here and then again a hand towel and then I have this full length mirror which I wanted to put this over the door originally but because of those hooks there was no way that it was going to be able to fit over the door so my dad just like put mounting putty and put it there which for right now I like it so let me give you one last overview of my room as you can tell pink everything live for pink 
I love it so much. I think it's really cute. I think it's really me and I think it really fits like my vibe and my personality really, really well. Oh, and then I also got this rug from Target. It is so cute. It was on sale too. It's an 8x10 rug. My mom and I, whenever we saw it in the hotel, I should have taken a video, but it literally was to the ceiling. So me and my mom were like, oh my gosh, like it's not going to fit. How are we even going to fit it in the car? But it ended up fitting great. And there's even a little bit of space, which my parents, oh my God, let me show you the floors. Let me show you the floors. So these are what the floors look like. They're really really dirty and really gross really gross like I've already used a Swiffer to like sweep the floor but as you can see really nasty so because the floor is so nasty my parents want me to get another rug or like use rug tiles which my roommate actually used rug tiles which I think she'll let me show her room so maybe you guys will see it later in the video and then as you can tell like throughout the dorm the wall paint has been chipping and like falling which you know, my dorm is really old. It was built in 1936 and it was actually originally a men's dorm. Um, so she's an oldie, even like, oh my God, the elevator, the elevator is scary to ride in, but yeah. <laughs> Before I forget, above my dresser, I just have these cute little 8x10 photos. I got these photo frames from Walmart and then I just printed these 8x10 photos and I think they're so cute. I think it like really ties it together. I don't know. I'm kind of in love. Also, let me turn off the lights and show you what my room looks like with the neon sign because I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can't really see the neon sign when it's dark, but it is so cute and it just adds such a pretty like pink hue to the room and yeah. We love it. Emma, I don't think you should. Oh shit. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, what a slay. I was scared. I was scared. Too. I was like, I think I need to call 911. Okay, Emma, give us a room tour. Hi, my name is Emma. I'm Ash's roommate. <laughs> and I'm also living in a two room bubble with her. <laughs> and here we have the TV. It's close to a 50 inch <laughs> on uh, a desk thingy. That's what holds it up. And I have paper plates, water. Here's the fridge. I like your magnets. Thank you. Pickle Just notice those. That's from the. This is from Amsterdam. This like magnet because I went to the Van Gogh Museum, and you can see like all the sunflowers. Here's the freezer. There's nothing inside. <laughs> I have. Lots of drinks, yogurt, apples, protein stuff, etc. <laughs> then I have my, my, where I put my clothes, the wardrobe. Here's the curtain with stuff inside. <laughs> um, this is the little chair for when I sit and watch TV. And here's the, <laughs> and here's the beverage table where you have your beverage. You watch the TV, you just have your drink there, you sit there. And then over here, this is my bed. I sleep in it. <laughs> Here's the mirror where like, I just check myself out every day to make sure I'm good. And then here's my nightstand. Night, nightstand where I put my phone for an alarm. I also This is where I store the remote for the TV if I want to watch it from then. Here's a little light. Here is my desk. I study here. And then I have like a little lamp here. There you go, it works. <laughs> then I have a whole like an astronaut light. I have a makeup makeup mirror. And here I have perfume. And here's the, the drawers where I keep all my clothes inside. And then a lamp. And then like vines on the wall. And that's about it. <laughs> that was much better than my dorm tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and this is my backpack. I got it embroidered with an EV. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and it hangs right here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is my dorm tour. Um, we love her. She's really cute. She's an oldie but a goodie. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down any other videos you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.